Well, today, as you can see, we've kind of gutted it for the most part. We've taken out uh, all our equipment, all our lighting and sound, and we've been working all week to pull all our seating out as well. Obviously, some of it's going to stay, but this is all going to come down today, and we'll wrap it up. It actually breaks down into pretty small sections, um, and once it's rolled, it actually it, um, it fits on the truck very easily. Like our, our, We have a 40-foot trailer, and it all fit on there with room to spare. Um, we actually have shelves in the building. If we needed to put it in there, we can. Um, and obviously the poles take up a great deal of room. But uh, yeah, it'll go, all go on that 40-foot truck with a lot of room extra. So. The tent breaks down into 10 pieces, uh, the fabric does. So the first thing we'll do is bring out all these interior poles. Those will come outside, we'll drop the entire top to the ground, uh, take the sides off, and then break the fabric into pieces and roll them and, and put them into bags and load them all in the truck. So. Uh, each section weighs about a thousand pounds, so it's a pretty, it's a pretty big job. Right now, we'll store it. The actual fabric has about three years of lifespan on it, depending on on, on the manufacturers. So we're going to store it. Although we'll see if we, if it gets a, if we have a rental opportunity, or if God forbid something happens to the new one, we have to put this one up. We still have it. Um, obviously, it, you can only store it for so long, particularly in Tallahassee where it's humid and everything else. So um, even if it's stored, it still can like mold and everything else, which is not good fabric, obviously. So we'll store it and sit on it for a while and see if we need it, essentially. So. We still wanted to re retain the three ring concept. So what we're going to have are uh, like two roofs on either end called cupolas. And those are like steel frames that get pulled up and, and serve as the load bearing part of the structure. Whereas this is, is a little different setup where you're, you have four poles and everything's kind of pushing out. The engineering is completely different, but it's uh, it's a much more stable structure. The footprint of the, of the new tent is actually going to be a little bit smaller than this one. So the ends are going to come in a little bit. The the basic shape's the same. It's big, still an oval. The ends are going to come in about 20 feet, but it all equals out because you don't have any wasted space either. So whole new structure, really exciting and nerve wracking at the same time. <laughs> I can't wait to see it up, but it's a uh, yeah new anchor layout, everything. So it's been a it's been a construction project essentially.